One of the significant advantages of using stable diffusion locally on your PC or Mac is the freedom to select any model you prefer for image generation. In this video, I'll demonstrate how you can switch between various models in stable diffusion and install new ones in the automatic 1111 web UI for stable diffusion. In the top left corner of the UI, you'll find a drop down list with one pre loaded model file. In my case, it's the DreamShaper version 8 model. Just so you know, when you initiate a new stable diffusion session from Terminal, it automatically loads the last model you used before. However, you can access all the other models in the drop down list. These models correspond to files you've downloaded from the Internet and stored in a dedicated folder. If you followed my installation instructions, this folder can be found under Home, Stable Diffusion Web UI, Models, Stable Diffusion. To switch to a different model, simply choose your desired model from the drop-down list and wait a few seconds for Stable Diffusion to load it. Once it's done, you can start generating images with the new model. Suppose you want to install a different model. Here are the steps to follow. 1. Decide on the model you wish to install. If you're new to Stable Diffusion, you can watch my video about the best models for beginners. 2. Download the model from the model website. For example, I'm downloading a model named Anything V3 from a website called Civit AI. This model is a variation of Stable Diffusion version 1.5 and is specialized in generating anime style images. Simply click on the download link. Next, move the downloaded file from your downloads folder to the designated folder for Stable Diffusion models. You can find this folder under Home, Stable Diffusion Web UI, Models, Stable Diffusion. 4. Return to the UI. When you click the drop down list, you will not immediately see your newly downloaded model. In this case, click on Refresh to prompt Stable Diffusion to update the content of the list. Now you can select your model from the list. Once again, wait a few seconds until the new model is loaded and then you can start generating images. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you'll join me soon in my next video.